aspiration to excellence. What is it? It is setting coordinates of certain virtues. For example, Roman Republican virtues, Pideic, Hellenic standards, setting them as a coordinate for your lives. It's not easy, I know. It's easier to be excelling in morondom. It's easier to be excelling in being a complete idiot. It's much easier to excel in things unworthy of the gods. It's easy to be a cretin. It's easy to aspire to things of the swine. Fax, money, glories of fame, petty power politics. It's very easy. Look who is adored by the crowds. And that will give you the definition of the crowds. Fabric. Of what do they aspire to? Look when and where is the aim of humans. What do they want to become? Their dreams, their visions, the direction of their dreams and visions. And you have them portrayed as such in the full spectrum of what they are. Now, some aspiring to excellence do not need a tap on the back because they won't get any from a mediocre society. They know that self-containing certain measure of excellence, of merit, of virtue, they build themselves up like towers above the rest. What's the point? First, to inspire others. Then, if you want to participate in things of gods and goddesses, you make yourself alike. You incorporate the metaphysics of ethos and try to figure out the equation of what is ethos, what are the morals, what are the principles, what is excellence. You may aspire to it throughout your life, and that's a never-ending quest. You will fail at times. Many times you'll be a crook, a wretch. Many will make it difficult, pulling you into the own indecencies into their corruptions others will be indifferent yet others will openly mock you so is it worthy to be a noble person it is always worthy in the eyes of the gods and goddesses whether you believe in them or not it is worthy when it comes to the fabric of the whole of a society because you inspire others if they see humanely that this is something of war something worthy of following, something worthy of emulating and incorporating. Because true virtue is something that you understand with your reason first, and you incorporate it because it's rational and perfectly beautiful and truthful and honest. It resonates with the grand ideas of the world, the a priori forces, the powers, ontological. Now, it is funny how we draw inspirations from many things. This lecture is sponsored by an idiot that was shouting above my head towards a grocery cashier. He might be some celeb. And what did I see? Is an idiot shouting above my head. Now, I'm not a moralist, so I wouldn't tell him that he and his lot is excelling in stupidity. If he would say something to me, I would be honest with him. And if he would protest, I'll take his head and bang it against the counter until it would bleed. But then, rationally speaking, the police would be called old end up arrested and I wanted to avoid this chain reaction of event for punishing an imbecile that was annoying me so patience is also a virtue patience with idiots to sub sum look at the point A what you desire what you dream about what you want what you want to be what you want to incorporate in yourself, 
what you absorb is what you are, what your mind hears, sees, thinks, feels. That constitutes you. There is no lying here, no lying to the universe. So pick your foods wisely. I mean foods to process intellectually, emotionally, cognitively, soulfully. Because if you digest, you allow yourself to digest, digest the shit, the feces that those who you adore defecate, then you become a microbe version of those who you deem great. When you find really great people throughout history as testified, living teachings of theirs, the spirits that inspire you, the Hellenic muses that sometimes most wonderfully crown me with a Tirsa, Narxos, or F's of Laurels. Believe it or not. So yes, it is worthy to excel. But in excellent things. Not in worthless, pathetic, transient things that are not living for the eternal ideas that once elevated men and women above their animal. Because humans are animals. What makes them different from animals is majority of civilized behaviors, humaneness, built by civilized, reasonable behavior. Most of the people in modern days are living in automatism. I do so because it was said so. I was socialized in such a manner. I observed the peers. I observed what they adore. I want to be like them. Well, don't be like them. Behave in courteous, polite, wise manners. In other words, to be like the things established by the great ones of the world in the past. You need to get into dialogue with them, understand them with insight. And why is it that most people are governed by automatisms? Because they have no need of confrontation. They covered out. Simple situation. A man is falling in the street. First thing, a rational person would call the ambulance. Stay with that person. Ask him everything okay. Seek for someone with first aid possibilities. So on, so on. And then the crowds amass around it. And they look, passes by. Ashamed cowards that they cannot react and they go further. Quite quiet. Nobody will notice. No one will notice. Fucking cowards. People that act notice those fucking cowards. Indifference is an act of cowardice. And how come such people? that are excelling in being complete idiots, complete morons, complete pigs, when they feel safe, when they feel that they're on their grounds and that everything is secure, they shit out their stupidity on everyone else. But when the confrontation happens and someone and something needs to be done, needs to be done. They covered out. So, think what inspires you to greater things. Think what, think what is aretology, what is virtue, what is ethos. Think about it. 
it's not so difficult to read books. First prepare yourselves, then walk with the gods. Am I a person to follow? No. I'm a self-contained, self-made autocraton. I rule over myself and I know my points of coordinates, aspirations and aims. And because of my battles, my wars in this life, I failed multiple times. That means that I am not an exemplary in any ways to follow. And I say it honestly. But I convey, detached from my person, certain honest wisdoms, understandings that I want to share with the rest. Because I find them useful in promulgating certain affairs of men. Said so, here I end my rhetorical excursion. Thank you.